What if everyone in the NBA got injured? Today we will find out. We're gonna do a bunch of crazy NBA scenarios like what if everyone got injured? What if everyone fouls out of a game? What if everyone retired? I don't know. Hopefully they never happen in real life. Technically they could, but we're gonna do them on 2K to see what would actually happen. So to injure everyone, basically what we did is went to every player and put their durability down to the lowest possible on every single attribute, so 25. So they should get injured. And as if that wasn't enough, we will be turning the career ending injury frequency up to 100. Obviously injuries are on as well. And I'm turning the player fatigue rate all the way up and the player recovery rate all the way down. And obviously the possession results, we're, we're turning injuries all the way up here too. So technically we're controlling the Warriors, but we'll, we'll literally see the whole league crumble, at least hopefully. You know what? All right, let's just sim one week into the season and see what happens. Oh, that's a trade, not an injury, what? It has no one got injured yet? What? What is wrong with this game? How has no one got injured yet? This makes no sense. Oh, here we go. All right, well, I guess everyone not on our team is starting to get injured. This is a lot of injuries just to start the year off. Torn Achilles, dislocated right patella, torn meniscus, torn MCL, okay. There's no one on our team though. I feel like this actually is kind of normal for a month into the season. It's like nothing happened. This is realistic, no? All right, we're gonna sim to the all-star break. I also don't care about winning. I just, I just want, the, the whole league should have rumbled by now. Or at least like started to. This is a disgrace, 2K. Oh, finally, someone got injured. Andre Iguodala with a deep left thigh bruise. What? One to two weeks. That's all you got? There's no way. It's like nothing happened. 2K is really weird with these sims. I'm not gonna lie. I mean, it's interesting to see what happens, but like, I actually think they're really off on a lot of it. Like for example, putting LeBron in the NBA and them not going undefeated, right? That would happen in real life, right? And my app closed. Wow, that's the first time this year that's happened. Maybe they can't simulate that many injuries, but no one was really getting injured, at least on our team. So I, I don't know. Oh my gosh. It reset the entire thing? Nothing saved. Well, I expect the same thing to happen again, right? No one really does get injured. I mean, yeah, we're like almost two months in again and no one, I don't know what the problem is, but this is just the first way we injure everyone. Next step, we try to injure every single player in an actual game. We'll get back to that though. Cause next up we have, what if every single player in a game falls out? My theory is one of a few things will happen. One, they will actually stop the game and be like, oh, you forfeited, everyone fouled out. Who is that it'll be like an error with 2K or something. Also, what could happen is that maybe when you foul out, like you actually just leave and it's like five on four. I, I actually have no idea. There's probably like in the NBA rule book something, but it's just never been used. So you never know what they have buried in there. All right, we're hopping into a game now. I have no idea what to expect. I, I think this one's gonna actually be really weird though. So we are the Warriors. Our goal is to foul out every single person on the Warriors. Uh, starting with Kevin Looney, all right. <laughs> Start fouling. Actually, I also wonder how long will it take to foul everyone out? How fast can I do it? Not only in terms of me sitting here, but in terms of like game time. Cause I mean, this guy's already got what? Four fouls and it's been seven seconds. <laughs> all right, well now they're in the bonus. So I will be waiting here much longer cause I have to wait for them to shoot free throws. One thing I think we should do is I think we should actually be winning the game. So on offense, I'm just going to do this every time with Curry. Ooh, look at all of them just run to foul. Oh wait, he fouled out? Oh, all right, Kevin Looney is the first one to foul out. All right, James Weissman is in, he will foul out as well. All right, just over two minutes in, we have 30 points. We're scoring every possession. We still only have one player fouled out, but everyone is like catching up in fouls, if that makes sense. Here, Clay's gonna get a foul right here. Uh, that's his third. They're getting so many free throws though. Dude, you know how many free throws I'm gonna have to watch them take? If they take two free throws every time I foul, I gotta foul 13 players out and each player gets six fouls. That's definitely over 100 free throws. I, I don't wanna do the math. All right, Curry, I need you to make sure we hold this lead after you foul out. That will be hard, because I know he makes stuff. They're calling time. Oh my, if this, oh, it's like as if this couldn't take any longer. I couldn't even talk there. All right, we are at 47 points. Now Curry does have five fouls, so it looks like I did foul Curry out. That's two out of 13 players fouled out. Oh man. And we're only like three minutes in, honestly. Dang, if this actually happens correctly, they're gonna score more than 100 points. <laughs> this is ridiculous. All right, come on, who's fouling out next? We got Clay. 
Fouling Jason, how much does he have? Oh, that's his fourth. All right, 23 team fouls in three minutes. Nice. I still can't get over the whole, like, injuring the whole league thing. Because I actually really want to see that happen. All right, Draymond is out of there, man. That's three players fouled out. Imagine you foul out and injure everyone. Injured, and I don't even know. I'm just thinking of weird combinations. Oh, wait, what? Did someone else foul out? Oh, Andrew Wiggins fouled out. I wasn't paying attention. So our only starter left in the game is Clay. We're just over six minutes played. We still have four people fouled out. I thought this was gonna go faster, but it's like weird. Everyone kind of fouls out in spurts. And Jordan Poole is out of there. Five people fouled out an entire starting lineup worth, although technically Clay is still in. All right, James Wiseman is out of there. It's only giving me three options for a foul out replacement. I wonder what's gonna happen when there's no more replacements. Well, they're actually kind of catching up now. This is not good. We were just up by 21. They're about to be up by nine. They've made so many free throws. I think almost every point they've made has been a free throw. This is ridiculous. All right, Clay. I know you can shoot. You got this. Boom. We need those threes. That's 100 points too. Wow, okay. All right, Moody has fouled out. You only have two more replacements. I don't know why it's only giving us two more. We definitely have more people there. Oh, wait, no, we don't. <laughs> There's six people in the game. All right, so one more person fouls out and we have no replacements. All right, this is it. Our last replacement. What happens after this? I have no idea. And I don't know how Clay is still staying in the game, but it definitely has been helping for the three pointers. Oh, Green's got five. All right, dude, one more foul. We're almost there. All right, come on. Whoa, what happened? All right, so there's two whistles. It says he fouled out. Oh my gosh, we have 61 fouls. <laughs> All right, someone's shooting one one free throw. Wait, was that a transition take foul? No, it couldn't have been, right? Wait, they shoot three free throws? Hold up. There was one guy shooting free throws and there was him. But it's not five on four, he's still in the game. It says, wait, how many foul? Wait, it says he's fouled out. Oh my, okay, Jermichael Green has fouled out. So technically we only have four players in according to this. It says he has six fouls, but is it? he's still in the game, right? It's not five on four, I'm counting five people. Yeah, he's still in, he's passing in the ball. We're gonna foul with him again. See what happens. Does it not let us? It might not let us intentionally foul. But I want to see. I mean, can someone get seven fouls? Or, like, what happens? He's still in the game, so it's not five on four. The game hasn't ended. We haven't forfeited. We are technically still winning. All right, where's Green? All right, he's right here. He should be the one fouling. There's no one by him. Oh, he fouled. Wait, what happened? What? The? Nothing popped up. What? Okay, so, uh, I guess it's like a, what is this? Like a technical foul free throw? Or, like, it's treated as, like, a flagrant or something? What the? Okay, so they shoot three free throws now. So that's one, right? And then they shoot two more for the bonus, which is interesting. Now, technically, you could, in real life, still win. And, well, maybe the, wait, maybe it turns into something else. Everyone actually fouls out. Wait, I actually want to see. Because what I was going to say is, technically, you could just make a three every 100% of the time and just foul out everyone. So Clay fouled out, right? But he's still in. All right, so they're shooting a technical, right? I guess this is just what happens. It just keeps going on. The question is, like, could you still win the game? Because technically you could, right? As long as, like, they don't make all their free throws and you make a three every time. You could win. But, like, if you go to the roster now. Okay, yeah, so Jermichael Green does have seven fouls. Clay's fouled out, too. He has six. So technically there's only three people. All right, what happens if literally every single person fouls out? Does anything else change? All right, I have fouled everyone out but one person, Mr. Anthony Lamb here. It is actually almost about to be the second quarter. It is very, very high scoring. <laughs> but we are about to see if literally every single person fouls out. What happens? All we need to do here is uh, give the ball to Clay. He's gonna go and uh, make a three. Boom. Oh, foul, 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 foul. Yes, 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 yes. What? I'm fouling. Is it not working? There's no way. All right, come on. One more try. Oh, wait. They're not in the bonus because it's the second quarter. I forgot. All right, come on. There we go. There we go. All right, he's fouled out. What happens? Is this still this, like, same free throw thing? I guess it is. One free throw, basically a technical foul. Now, because they're not in the bonus, it didn't take too warm. But technically, you could have everyone playing. Now, the question is, what will happen if one of these players got injured? Well, actually, no, because then you could sub technically a fouled out person back in and, and run the same thing. Okay, so basically you would have to injure just everyone. That's what we're doing last. Next up, what if everyone retires? We're just trying to break the league here, I guess. I've made everyone in the league 40. Some people are almost 40 like LeBron, but I think this one's definitely gonna be different than the injury one. I actually think people will mass retire. Everyone actually still is the same overall. So I actually kind of want to see who would win the, uh, win the 
from the championship. And this is pretty accurate. I control the Lakers and we're losing this much to start. Anyway, we're gonna see who wins. Um, of course, Luka wins MVP. 40 year old Luka that is, still playing just as good. The Lakers actually did make the playoffs. The thing is, will they lose in the first round? They somehow won't. Okay, they lost in the second round. The Hawks won? Are you kidding me? The Hawks? Trey Young finals MVP. Hey, okay, that's cool, man. That's cool. All right, here we go. The moment of truth. The first thing in the offseason. Player retirement. Oh my gosh. That's that, that's so many people. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Yo, I'm still scrolling. Look how long I'm scrolling for. Like years pro, only three. Because everyone is retiring. Even all the rookies from this year. The whole league is basically retiring. Finally, Udonis has him retired. He should have retired anyway. We didn't even have to make him for it. He was already 43. I wonder who got in the Hall of Fame. Okay. Interesting. Wait, who's still in the league? Who didn't retire? Oh, okay. So some of the players did actually retire. Like maybe like a handful from each team. Just a couple. I actually like how many Lakers stayed because Lakers are already so old. Obviously, this isn't enough to fill an entire league. So I wonder who these are all going to be replaced with. So we're going to sim the draft and the free agency in this first year and just see what happens. Like who fills all those spots? Obviously, everyone that didn't retire is declining rapidly except oh wait these are 21 year olds never mind all right so the rosters still aren't really filled and it's past free agency and the draft is there just gonna be a bunch of g league players or like what's gonna happen because you know the league's about to start you know what i mean all right well let's advance to the next season actually you know what let's uh download like a 23 draft class why not well victor Weminyana saved the league all right so who's on these teams now the season started right before it started there was no one there who are these people where did they come from? Oh my gosh, every team is so bad. Everyone's like a 60 overall. Keep in mind, these are like the same teams as real life. Okay, this is this is so good. Clay Thompson's a 79 now. This is the entire league. Wow, that is that is terrible. Well, let's see who wins now, I guess. I assume all the remaining players that are like 40 plus that didn't retire last season will finally get out of there. But technically, like, people were just forced to pick up randoms. It's like 60 plus overalls. So the league still technically went on. Everyone did just retire all of a sudden. Now it's just a question of how long does it take to recover, like for teams to actually be good again. Because there's about to be another mass exodus in this offseason. Luka, who didn't retire, wins MVP. And the Nuggets still with Jokic win. Okay, so does he retire now or who? Yeah, okay, now everyone's kind of retiring now. Oh my gosh. So it took kind of like two years for everyone to retire. Um, who's still actually in the league? It's gotta be like five people. Cause you can't force everyone to retire. There's, there's no way, right? Okay, dude, like, I don't know how these guys are still playing. <laughs> Can they get out of here already? Bro, the fan interest is at 6%. I've never seen something like that. So basically, it would take a massive hit to the league. No one will watch it anymore. And it would take a few years to retire. I mean, this is the third season we're simming right here. Wait, what just happened? I, I stopped paying attention for one minute and the fan interest is all, all of a sudden at 97%. What happened? We're not even playing good. So Victor Wemenyana, obviously MVP. And I assume he's going to carry whatever team to a championship. Well, oh, he's 83. Oh, interesting. Seven foot five. <laughs> Golly. Nick Smith Jr. wins Western Conference MVP. He's 78 overall. I don't even know who that is. That's an auto-generated rookie, right? The Thunder won. Who is this? What is happening at this point? How long does it take for the NBA to recover? This guy's a 76 and just won finals MVP. Oh, man. I told you, after the second season is where I think everyone really saw a hit. Chris Middleton somehow hasn't retired. Yo, you guys need to retire. You are too old. All right, boys, we are officially in 2026. The only remaining players in the league that have been too stubborn to retire at the age of like 50. Giannis is still in the league somehow at age 44. Paul George. But all these guys kind of suck now. Giannis is basically like the only notable player in the league now. Everyone's just basically retired. And um, the best players on each team are actually getting a little bit better. The league is starting to recover a little bit. Victor Weminyana is an 89 overall. I think the Heat are going to win the championship, but like the league has definitely taken a massive Massive hit. The fan interest is at 6%. I don't know how all of a sudden it rose to like 98% last time. I'm, I'm gonna watch it carefully this time because I just, I don't get it. I looked away for one minute and it just, just, wait, what? It just jumped to 100 because of the all-star captains. What? That's, that makes no sense. That has to be like a glitch or something. Like that, that doesn't make sense. And it just slowly tanks throughout the rest of the year. Shane Battle, not Shane Battier. I don't know who any of these people are at this point. Oh my 
my gosh. Victor Wembanyama isn't even all NBA first team. Oh, there's Bronny James. What happened to the league, man? Giannis at the age of 44 wins Western Conference. MVP. Imagine he wins a ring. Wait, hold up. Oh my gosh, Giannis won a ring. <laughs> he stuck out long enough the last remaining player in the league. He does win a ring. I guarantee he's gonna finally retire now, right? He has to. Okay, there we go. Okay, no, there's actually no one in the league anymore. Not a single person that we made 40s now in the league. These guys were stubborn though, but I guess it, it paid off for Giannis. So with not a single existing player in the league so far because everyone retired. I mean, there's some, I don't know who Shane Battle is, but there's actually some good people. Is Victor Wembanyama the best player in the league right now? Let me see. Yeah, he is. Okay, so he should technically win MVP again, or at least be first team all NBA, you would think. But I guess Shane Battle took the spot last year. All right, we'll send one more season and just, just see where it's Yo, the Lakers are so bad. <laughs> okay, these are just randoms at this point. Victor Wembanyama did win Defensive Player of the Year, though. I don't know. Hopefully, the person who wins Finals MVP is not that bad, right? Oh, Shane Battle. Okay, 92. So, like, the league takes a while to recover. Not too long, though. This is, like, what, 2026? 2027? It is definitely a weird seeing a league where not a single person I know is in it. But honestly, like, that will eventually happen. Now, finally, it is time. We tried. What if everyone in the entire league gets injured? 2K just didn't want to let that happen. Um, we're going to injure everyone in the game now. Or at least try. And we're going to go all out. Like, completely all out on this. So, we're going to put the Sixers up against the Warriors. And both teams are going to look like this. So, we're going to have these five players play all 48 minutes. And they have a pre-existing injury, which is just a sprained ankle, which they can play through. It's just day-to-day. -day. It's hurt, not out. So you can see everyone's gonna play 48 minutes. So same thing right here. Everyone's got a sprained ankle. Obviously injuries are on, we're gonna turn fatigue on as well. And we are going to change every single slider to as injury prone as possible. So durability all the way down for both the CPU and the user. Their fatigue rate all the way up. I didn't even know that was a thing. So not only is their durability stat all the way down, but the overall game durability is all the way down as well. Now it's interesting within an actual game, I actually can only remember maybe a couple times where someone got injured. Usually it was just a my career game though, and it was it was just random. Like a quick game where I was playing against someone or something like that. Like I actually don't remember it, but of course we have to load the roster. I guess we'll be the 76ers this time because we were the Warriors before. And let's get started, man. Let's go out and injure everyone in a game. Now, before we see if we can actually injure every single player in a game, I gotta give a huge shout out to So Rare for once again sponsoring the channel. So Rare is a hundred percent the future of fantasy sports because you can create your own lineups and then use those lineups to compete in different leagues. It's like you're a GM of an NBA team. And you guys all remember when you sign up using my link, you get 20 free common cards, but you also get to join the league, which you can see right here. I named uh, Peter MC's BBL which stands for basketball league, all right? Of course, a ton of you guys already joined. But like I said, we all compete against each other. Game weeks are every Monday and Thursday, so twice a week. Best lineup wins. But you gotta use the link below if you wanna get in the league. So the cool thing about SoRare is you can buy individual cards, which is especially useful if you think a player is underrated. So that's what the marketplace is for. I like the rare, super rare. Um, who do we want? Ooh, Carl Anthony Towns. That's not too bad. But honestly, I've been having a lot of fun with it. Definitely way different than like all the other fantasy sports out there. Also, one more thing the link does is if you buy five cards from the market, place you get a free one so go sign up shout out to everybody that's already joined the league and of course big shout out to so rare for sponsoring once again now let's injure everybody <laughs> so technically everyone already is injured but it's like oh my gosh i, I don't really know i want to injure everyone in an actual game because we know in a sim it, it's not going to work all right here we go james harden going to the all right come on it, dude's landing bad i don't know now the thing is this actually is the way we have to do it if we just gave everyone a terrible injury. Actually, I, I don't know what would happen. Maybe that's plan C. I don't know. All right, bro. Someone's got it. We got to injure 10 different people, dude. Someone needs to get injured in the next minute or two. I swear. Oh, there we go. That's the foul. Yo, there's out of everything. That has to be an injury, right? Bro, all the stats are completely down. It's like the stats don't even matter. Take a charge, maybe? I don't know. Flop? Jump? Oh, going. All right, jump into the crowd. Imagine you get injured jumping into the crowd. Hold up. Joel and B. Jump into that crowd or the scores table. Wait, did, he, just, he just didn't do it. Oh! It's not working, guys. What is going on? Someone needs to be injured by now. We have 10 players. All right, we're almost three minutes into the game. We need one injury. Is there like a way you can just injure people, I guess? Like, like LeBron, he landed weird there. Yeah, but it's probably just because he's old, not because of the sprained ankle. Like you would think, like, I don't know. 
Nothing is working. All right, we're just gonna go head first into the paint here. It's gotta work, right? Okay. No. Hang on that rim. Yeah, pull yourself up. Yeah, do some pull-ups. Yeah. <laughs> Bro, what is happening? It's been almost four minutes. Come on, just something. Something, please. Bro, come on, dude. Come on. Everyone is dead tired. What is everyone's energy at? Like 30, 40? Everyone's hurt. Dude, they're like subbing people out. This is not good. Dude, I feel like if someone was going to get injured, they'd get injured right now. It's been seven minutes. Don't forget, all the durability is all the way down. All the durability in the game is all the way down. And everyone's already injured to start. Like, it couldn't get any more difficult. Okay, well, remember how I mentioned that, like, plan C thing? If 2K is not gonna injure these guys, whether it's in a sim or a game, I will. All right, I'm gonna just see what happens when I just injure everyone. If I tear everyone on the team's ACL, can I hop into a game? What will happen? All right, so I have torn the ACLs of every single player on the Bucks and the Bulls. Everyone is out, not hurt. They literally cannot play. Um, they're not allowed to. So, will even let us hop in a game? I, I'm not sure. All right, well, uh, it appears everyone's still in the, the starting lineup. I don't know. I mean, this is this is the roster. So, we'll, we'll try to start a game, I guess. It's starting. They are walking fine with torn ACLs. Okay, I mean, well, it looks like we're about to say ball. I don't know how this is working, but okay. I, every... What? Hello? What is happening? Everyone is out. What is this? All right, Zach Levine, you're going to dunk with a torn ACL. All right, buddy, you look completely fine. Oh, or you can do that. Oh, my gosh. That's probably even worse. Okay, well, I I give up. I don't know. 2K, you got me. It was cool to definitely see all, like, the really weird NBA scenarios. Thank you guys for watching. Go watch me put Shaq in the WNBA. That was fun. Definitely another scenario that will never happen in real life.